Hey guys, hello! A pro tip for those who plan to ride long distances with the bike for the first time. The most probable mechanical malfunction that you will run into, and obviously you need to know how to deal with it, is how to top up your tire in the middle of the track. Why? Maybe because you have simply forgotten to uh, inflate uh, the tire in time, or maybe because uh, you decide that, especially for the mountain bikes, you need to deflate the tires because you're running uh, on a soft ground or a sandy ground. So whatever the reason is, you shouldn't leave your home without a uh, pump in the backpack. So what does Alex carry in, the back in his backpack? This is the device. It is very small, as you can see, it's quite compact and it is extremely light. And which is advantage because it occupies no weight in, in your backpack. However, uh, its disadvantage is that it has a very small uh, capacity. It will take you a lot of back and forth to inflate a, uh, a tire of a bike to any decent pressure. Well, why do I carry this with me all the time? Well, because essentially it has an endless battery life, because it's powered all the way uh, by me. Are there any better alternatives, you may wonder? There is another option that has appeared on the market fairly recently, well, probably a year. This is this electric pump from Bosch. Why I'm saying that it is amazing is that uh, using this device you can inflate about 8 to 10 tires of a mountain bike um, and it uh, will last on, on a battery. Um, personally, I like it very much. I take it with me uh, all my vacation rides and I keep it at the base. It's incredible for saving a space and it's extremely useful to top up uh, the, the pressure in your tires between the rides. But to take it with you on the ride, it's a bit heavy. Maybe there are any other options. And uh, so what I want to show to you is one interesting gadget. <coughs> I'm not sure you, you know it or not. This is the CO2 pump. And uh, it's actually quite useful if you, let's say, if you want to top up your uh, tire in the middle of a track without having to, well, uh, to pump it manually. What this thing is, it has CO2 cartridge in it. You just scroll in, and pierce it, and then press this magic button. That's it. This thing will be very cold then with uh, with few clicks on the button I have a far from a tire and I think it's gonna make my ride much more much more pleasant and less tiring The downside of using CO2 in your tubes is that your CO2 esca escapes uh, the inner tubes much faster than the air. So that uh, the, the pressure that you have put in with the CO2 uh, pump will not last um, longer. You'll have to top up the tire much sooner than you would with the normal air. So why not just to uh, take the advantage of it and uh, deflate the tire completely uh, after you ride and then reinflate the tire with the uh, normal air which gives us an excellent opportunity to measure how quickly this device will reinflate mountain bike tire to 1.85 bar pressure. Shall we give it a go? Okay, let's move the dust cap. And 
see you pressing. Okay, so the tire is almost equalized with the outside pressure. The test that's crumbling. Okay, there's no pressure left. Now, turn this on, set 185, press it in here, and start. It will cut automatically. Yeah, it's a bit of a boring to just sit around and do nothing. Just watch the internal pressure increasing. Seventy with seventy-five. One eighty. One eighty. And okay, it's 185. Boom. Right, put the dust cap back on. Boom. Almost no effort. So, this is it for today. Don't be a hero, live prepared, and always carry a spare. Guys, enjoy your long rides and build up the amazing conditions. See you there.